reading. Game allows you to break the narrative by skipping ahead during chapter select. Boy, this highway sure looks a lot different than it does in the comics and the television series. Way to keep those racial stereotypes alive, Telltale. Looping scenery. Fuck the police. Handholding. Riot in progress. All officers are available for incoming 217. Rolling calls and dispatches to all locations. Good job at ignoring the obvious imminent threat, asshole. Any decent human being would be like, Oh shit! The whole world is going to hell around us! I should probably check up on my friends and family to make sure that they're alright. Ha! <laughs> Not this guy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. Ha ha, comic book inside reference. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. This cop is still ignoring the obvious! Apparently, gravity ceases to exist in video game car crashes. What the hell caused that wound? These windows are still intact, so it can't be from shards of glass. Uh, maybe it's just a plot wound. Oh, that doesn't look good. Uh, take a look at the blood trail leading up to his body, Lee. That ought to give you a hint. The drop in the object near a dead body's mouth to see if they'll turn into a zombie and bite your hand off cliche. The failing to reload a weapon when preparing to combat a zombie cliche. Lee tosses a viable weapon during an apocalypse. Who cares if it's out of ammo? There's always a possibility that you'll find ammo later on. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Well, Lee, you blew a man's head off with a shotgun. Take a wild guess. Hey, look, it's the plot fence. This unnecessarily wide camera angle. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door. Lee gets a gold star for pointing out the obvious. We go from daytime to dusk in a matter of seconds. I'm not an intruder. Uh, technically you are an intruder. Lee slips on a clearly obvious puddle of blood. Where the hell did this walker come from? It was nowhere to be found when you were scouting the place earlier. <laughs> that fall would have killed him. Or at the very least incapacitated him long enough to get eaten. Meaning... Game over. Out of all the baseball caps that Clementine could wear, she picks the one that resembles the Arizona Diamondbacks. Trust us, people. We're from Arizona. And we know how much the Diamondbacks suck. That World Series win back in 2001 was a fluke. Man, Lee, it's amazing how you're able to push that car with your injured leg. Gee, how far away was that farm? It took them all evening to get there. Unless, of course, you were a bunch of dumbasses like us and waited till the evening to get a move on. Herschel is a terrible doctor. He doesn't even use antiseptic before wrapping Lee's wound. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. Uh, we already mentioned that she's not Lee's daughter. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. Herschel thinks that a fragile picket fence is gonna stop a legion of the dead. Bed covers that aren't used. Duck. Worthless. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin. Kenny hunts dolphin. Aw oh, man, look at those uneven textures. This information is pointless since Sean will die in a matter of minutes. Random hammering sound effect. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Herschel will call you out for lying even if you told him the truth. Gee, I know it's for the sake of the plot, but how did Sean nor Duck not notice walkers approaching the farm? The freaking walkers! It's not like they could have snuck onto the farm. Well, this is as far as we're going. What? You didn't bother to get gas? More teleporting walkers. Is there any real reason Duck didn't get bit here, other than for the sake of the plot? Glenn! We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. Yeah, except for that one time where you left Sean to die. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. We'll get this kid out of here. Gee, can we make it any more obvious that you two are the assholes of the group? They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. So why exactly are you guys still here? <laughs> really? All this time in the pharmacy and you didn't notice a walker inside of the bathroom? The asshole character has an insert medical condition here to see if you'll end up giving a damn about them later on, cliche. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. It's Doug. And I'm Carly. 
So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Unnecessary awkward dialogue. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. The television reporter Carly is smart enough to use a gun, but dumb enough to not check the radio for batteries. Reused bed design. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Uh, did Lee just call them zombies? Then why doesn't everyone call them that from here on out? It's clear that that's what they are. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Lee ditches the ice pick, yet another useful weapon that can be used later on. You have a boyfriend? Glenn? Glenn gets butt hurt for no reason. Sandals and socks. Axe sound does not attract any walkers. Well, Lee was swinging that axe pretty good earlier on, but now we have to make him struggle for the sake of emotional crisis because it's his brother. Holy crap! Run! Apparently, walkers only notice and attack you when the plot requires it. Oh no. The alarm that's going to set off to attract the zombies cliche. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Yeah, because I'm not going to need that axe just in case the walkers break through and kill everyone. If we don't make it through this. The if we don't make it through this cliche. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Objectives that point out the obvious. Uh, they're not covered with fishy, son of a bitch! No! Just in case we didn't make it clear that Larry is an asshole, well, here you go. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. You want to know what would have made this game better? Is if we actually got to keep Glenn! And not have to be limited by the continuity of the television series and the comic books. But no, there he goes, off to save Rick's sorry ass. Creative freedom. How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Where's the, you're a crack shot reporter and I think you're kind of cute option? Stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. Isn't that basically the same type of threat that Hugo Strange gave Batman in Arkham City? If you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. That guy Doug is dead because of me. No, he's not. He's dead because he left you for no reason other than to give you that forced decision for the sake of the plot. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. The it's gonna be okay when it's really not cliche. What's the point of having a to be continued when all you're gonna put next is next time on The Walking Dead? Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Ha ha, not so subtle foreshadowing. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. Now that kind of is subtle foreshadowing. He's just an old racist asshole. Playing the race card. Then shut up! My dad was special forces, I know what I'm doing! The, my parents are insert here, therefore I know what I'm doing argument. Hurry, please, hurry! Now that delivery doesn't sound like a guy who's in pain. Lee, this <laughs> trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Well, that's pretty stupid. Who makes a bear trap without a release latch? Oh, no. oh I know! Telltale! Because I have to add this scene for the sake of tension and because the plot demands it. You know, this is some pretty crappy fortification. The barrier's too short, and it can be easily climbed because the slopes are on the other side. Bubble jacket. This man has no leg. Well, he's got half a leg. That's a pretty ineffective way of using an axe. Subtitles that match the color of a character's clothes. Oh, look at that, my shadows are going nuts. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. Yeah, until the script says otherwise. Probably not a wise move to put your hand so close to a walker's mouth, Lee. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad. Oh, I don't know, maybe because the plot required it? There was no option to just shoot him and leave him behind. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Crucial plot details delivered by inept character that everyone will end up hating later on. But, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, 
if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. So I'm guessing you guys didn't bother to check the abandoned cars for gas? Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But... How are you going to help defend us? You have no weapons! Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! What a waste of ammo. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. This woman's accent. How about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. So we find out later that the St. John's had Mark's legs hacked off to be served for dinner. But if Mark and Lee didn't check the perimeter of the fence, then what was she going to cook them for dinner? I mean, were they counting on the bandits attacking Lee and Mark so that one of them could be injured, thus making them easy pickings? Seems a little confusing to me. Take this. Why give Carly the rifle? She already has a handgun. This right here should have given you a clue that this dairy is a terrible place. It hasn't won an award since Mortal Kombat 2 was released. Glitch! You know, I once was a flesh-eating zombie, but then I took an arrow to the neck. Mark isn't wearing the same clothes as he did in the previews when he got shot. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Show yourself! These bandits suck at strategy. Oh man, look at all this glitchy movement. Shit, it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Uh, actually it isn't, Lee. Ah, another one? How many of those things did we push down? And this one isn't either. Speaking of which, this game has a sloppy tendency of popping up walkers out of nowhere. These two were clearly not here earlier. Get closer! Leader tells the bandits to move in closer, but they never do. Lee and Mark leave this gate wide open. And the bandits never attack the dairy again. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. <laughs> I should just... Pull it out. <laughs> That's not what your girlfriend said. They don't close this gate either. Reused chair prop. It's nice to get a little backstory on Daryl's crossbow. Jolene gets caught monologuing. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Actually, she was aiming at your balls. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? This conversation was silent before the camera panned over. What exactly happened at the camp? Lee just told you what happened at the camp. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow, so Danny killed her. We should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now, we don't want to be rude. But you just said that we were overstaying our welcome. We are guests here, we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. We go from daytime to nighttime in a matter of seconds. Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it, it's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Clementine's cuteness automatically deducts 20 sins from this game. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? <laughs> hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? Well, you're, you know, urban? Racial prejudice. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Yeah, and so do bullets when you see someone wearing a hoodie. I know it's for the sake of distracting Andy, but is disabling a generator that stops walkers from entering the dairy really the smartest idea? No. The answer is no. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! The Hick family in the countryside that turns out to be cannibals cliche. You talk a big game. But could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. <laughs> you ain't gonna kill me! Oh yes I am. Wait, is that Mark upstairs that's zombified? How'd he get back up there? He fell down the stairs earlier before everyone was about to eat his legs! Kenny manages to survive this wound without any medical care. Everyone here just stands around and does nothing while Lee fights Andy. Why? Cause the game demands it! This mashing section is pointless and goes on way too long. Just let go after a little while and you'll be saved. There's gonna be Fallout. And Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Fallout Forever and Ever till the end of time. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. Hey, what's with the sound change? More reading. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. Haha, ha, not so subtle foreshadowing. Hoping ain't worth a damn. Help me! I get what Telltale was trying to do here, but this dilemma is emotionally ineffective. She was dead regardless of what decision you were going to make. There was no option to keep her alive. 
Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Another glitch! Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Yeah, all the men technically are gone since you were the one who killed Larry. We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people. She's right there, Kenny. You are full of shit. Most of you are alive because of me. All I want is a week of peace. Lily, you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Your allotted time of peace has come and gone. Whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Aww, you mad, bro? Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I'm fine. Don't brood. I know you're fine. You're a convicted killer. Jeez, what a cock tease. I think people should know. Oh, really, Carly? Then what was all that crap that you said on the way to the St. John's Dairy? You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. Whoa, Carly, you got way too much high maintenance. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Apparently, nobody ever told you that Assumption is the mother of all f***-ups. Can I help? You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Game tries to force you to bond with characters you clearly don't care about. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Kaja's careless with kids' safety. See what I meant earlier about how easily this motel can be taken over? I know it's for the sake of the game, but is there any reason why these guys don't just kill everyone and take all their food and supplies right there and then? Problem solved, right? Ah, I see, so the whistle brings the rest of the bandits out and not the four previous gunshots, right? Oh shit. I'm sorry. Nobody was stealing anything! This should have been a dead giveaway to anyone paying attention that Ben is full of sh and working with the bandits. But since the plot demands it, this pointless debate will continue. How did you not notice that walker in the road? Especially when you had the freaking headlights on! Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes! You were the one who suggested the voting, dumbass! Look! Maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything! You weak, pathetic fool. Just let me stay, please! God, please! Do we need any more evidence than this? My thoughts exactly. So why don't we just kill Ben already? Oh, that's right. Because the game's plot doesn't go for it! Now, what the fuck's the problem with- Game unnecessarily kills off Carly and robs you of your chance to bang her later on. You're a murderer, Lily! We can't have you with us! Kenny, you are the last person who should be complaining about murder. Get off of me! <laughs> the dream sequence fake-out cliché. Hey look, another reused chair prop. A map of where the train goes. Convenient object to advance the plot device. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. Funny how you mentioned that, Kenny, since earlier you were like, Looks like we got the kid on watch again. We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. What about duck? What about it? Look, Kenny, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Did you not hear, Cat? We don't know shit, Lee. What are you talking about? You saw the bite, dummy. Happened during the raid. You're only delaying the inevitable. Already met everyone outside. Okay, how did you manage to meet every single person in my group and still have the time to sneak onto the train to surprise me? All within the span of like 15 seconds. Ken! What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. You see, this is why a lot of people hate Kenny so much. 
If it were anyone else, he'd be the first one to suggest murder and probably would be the one to commit it. But when it comes to his own son, he'll do and say absolutely anything to delay the inevitable. Katja's suicide makes no sense. She was always portrayed to be the type of character who kept a level head in a time of crisis, and there was no real evidence leading up to this moment that she was going through an emotional breakdown, save for this line. I love our son more than life itself. This was a poorly executed attempt at killing off all of Kenny's family in one scene for the sake of the plot. It took three episodes to make this option available. Sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. Uh, you did have a map. And I took it. And if something were to happen to you, it won't. Wah, wah. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. Chuck criticizes Lee for not having a plan, yet doesn't have a plan of his own. Unlimited bottles and unlimited ammo. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. No option to toss Ben off the train after exposing his treachery. Also, the revelation that Ben was the one supplying the bandits not surprising to anyone. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Actually, it's the 9,000 gallon petroleum tanker dangling from a bridge blocking your way. Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Whoa, chill out, Omid. We know you're a cool character, but... Yeah, that didn't sound creepy at all. Clementine unlocks a door that has no lock on the knob. I guess it's become customary at this point that walkers can pop out of nowhere just for the sake of adding tension. There were none when we walked in. Walkers start off here and then magically appear this close just a few seconds later. Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... I thought that fucking thing was broken. Yeah, but don't you remember when Carly gave you batteries for it? There were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. More reading. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Notice how Kenny doesn't specify working boats. What the hell? Hmm. I wonder for whom that bell tolls. Game cliche number 13. A group of dumb bastards just standing around gawking at the obvious threat surrounding them. Really, Kenny? How did you not notice that walker clearly with its hand out trying to grab you? No! Ben! Help her! <laughs> ah, Ben, old Ben, you are the king of cowards and scumbags. Point-and-click adventure game turns into first-person shooter. This design of the sun. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. No option to keep the shovel as a weapon. Especially after Lee said, A shovel is never not useful. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. Yeah, because there's no possibility someone else is going to have a working boat and follow you. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more said I'm done with this house. Yeah, let's not check the shed to see if there's anything else we can use. My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. No option to say yes and make the story more interesting. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. Yeah, because leaving Clementine with Ben went so well the last time. So you're just going to leave me on the bench here? No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. You want to know what Lee should have said? No offense, Ben, but you have no reason to be offended by anything I say. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. Well, you did make Larry's head magically disappear earlier. Molly! 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 Molly teleport! Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for Kenny to intentionally drop Lee because he's an asshole, and there he goes. I'm surprised more walkers didn't fall through since the sewer hatch was left open. The animation of this blood. Ah, the sewage level. Resident Evil 2, anyone? I guess Telltale forgot the old saying, Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Lee leaves this hole wide open. Ha ha, fallout. Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. 
Ah, so it's a plot bottle. That boat out there is an answered prayer. No, it's not. It's just that you should have searched more thoroughly. I guess I should go get ready. What? You got makeup to put on, Clem? I got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this, cliche. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. <laughs> Not a problem. Look what I found. How'd you manage to fit that in your backpack? Another example of game cliche number 13. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Well, too bad, Molly, because I am going to judge you. You have a climbing axe named Hilda. Confederate flag. Look, I don't doubt that Molly is strong, but I do have a hard time believing that she could be that agile with a car battery in her backpack. Okay, Those things are not featherweight. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Damn, I was half expecting to hear a Back to the Future reference there. Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? Huh. <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. And so would Carly, you dick! Remember how bandits came raiding into the motel and tried to kill us all because they didn't get the supplies that you were dealing them which led to Lily getting all pissed off and then we had to kill the bandits while fleeing the motel and then Lily questioned all of us and you pussied out and didn't admit your mistake which led to Carly uncharacteristically defending you which then led to Lily getting even more angry which then led to Lily shooting Carly! Yeah! That was your fault too! Point and click adventure game turns into first person shooter. Again! In the same episode, no less. They should fire whoever was responsible for making that decision. Where the hell were these walkers hiding? Did Telltale save that whole sequence just for dramatic effect? You know, the whole bells ringing to signal that someone is about to die and Molly and Lee walk past the door that had the hatchet safely locking it only to find out that Ben's dumbass took it and then they run into Ben, ask him where he got the hatchet and then BAM! Here come the walkers! Lame. Now this is borderline ridiculous. Why can't Lee just run up the stairs and kill off the walkers like he does here? Why does he have to slowly back up with a shotgun and kill them off that way other than for the sake of adding tension? Unnecessary, I say. Nice job at getting rid of yet another useful weapon, Lee. Fatality. Are they unpatchable? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Vernon will take the boat even if you agree to let him take care of Clementine, which completely negates the whole reason why he'd want to keep hidden in the fallout shelter like he said. I mean, granted, we later find out in the 400 Days DLC that Vernon taking the boat is what leads his group to go downhill. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time, and the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. Now, if Telltale's intention was to hide the fact that Vernon is a slimy backstabbing worm, then they did a good job. But since this is such a leap in logic and it's still a broken plot point, we're gonna count it as a sin. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us, and Clementine behind. Scene does not contain makeout session. Also, the lack of animation in Lee's eye during this sequence here is very creepy and lazy. More reading. He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Well, it doesn't matter. Lee will die regardless of whether or not you chop off his arm. Because the game demands it. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Look, we know that Dave Fenoy is an excellent voice actor. But the delivery of that line was terrible. It should have been delivered more along the lines of You got this, Lee! You got this, you no butt heaven motherfucker! King Kong ain't got shit on me! Oh yeah! And then Lee slips on the shades to the tune of I wear my sunglasses tonight So I can, so I can, so I can. Well, 
I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's yeah, like you haven't been doing that the whole fucking game. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. Actually, it does matter if you're gonna bring up his name and the situation. You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> hey look, a plot bottle! The unnecessary change of the camera angle during this sequence. We get it. We're high up in the air. There are walkers down below. No need to point out the obvious. Keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> oh hey, look at that! A convenient accident that Kenny caused. So that he can sacrifice himself for making the dumb mistake and possibly redeem himself because he's been an asshole this entire game! But we use the term sacrifice lightly because we never see him die and there's a high possibility that we might see him later on in Season 2. Hey, look at all these reused walker designs! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sit back, relax, and enjoy the awesomeness of this sequence. Minus 30 cents! I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? That is irrelevant. You can't blame Lee for something that someone else did. You're a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Maybe it's just my dirty mind, but that sounded a little too... sexual. Sorry, stranger. Lee don't swing that way. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Man, this sounds awfully familiar. I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. I get what he's trying to say, but Lee exposing Clementine to this harsh world and teaching her has made her tougher, stronger, and more capable of surviving. So wouldn't neutering her make her, you know, weaker? And less capable of surviving should you either die or abandon her yourself? Your argument is invalid. Oh look, we got a glitch! How in the bloody hell did Clementine get Lee into this convenience store? First of all, where'd she get the strength to drag him? Lee was passed out and he was practically dead weight. Suspension of disbelief is getting stretched here a little. And I know that they're covered in walker muck, but how did she manage to drag Lee through all those walkers and NOT GET EATEN?! This is worse than when Ellie was able to get Joel back to the cabin in The Last of Us. If he managed to get through this entire sequence without at least shedding a tear, well, congratulations, you fucking sociopath. One of the worst cliffhangers ever. Usually about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause you are not my daddy. No, I'm not. What did you say your name was? Doesn't matter, right? You have such pretty. Hey there, girls. Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. 
chill the fuck out, lady! Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want. I have to pee. Then just go. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Knock this guy out. How is she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? I don't trust you. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Huh? I think you're a great guy. Shut up, dog! I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So? It can't really help us. He's just an old racist asshole. This isn't our problem. We should go. No, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! Uh, I'm sorry. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. Can you help me find it? Sorry, honey. I don't have time. I need to keep my strength up, too. I hope I get to eat next time. So, he's the asshole. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch! It's already found us. Your boy Danny is nuts. woman right here is fucking insane! Shut the fuck up. You need to unhear all of that. You think this shit is gonna get you what you want? You best get the fuck out of here! Maybe it was Lee, her. come on. I think she probably did it. Lee, what the fuck? What's happening? Nothing. Everything is fine. Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. You wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Can we at least look for my parents when we get there, before we go? They're dead. We have to move on. They're not dead. Do you want them to be? <laughs> Fuck, it's still locked! Mind your own business. If we wanted you to help out, we would have asked. God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Have it your way. I will! You son of a- Run! Run! Can't I just hold it? Maybe I can- I already told you no. Ask me again, okay? Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to- Just do what I say, okay? Clem! God damn it, get back here! Clementine! Don't ever do that again! Clementine, Krista asked you a question, and both of us would like an answer. Who have you been talking to? Can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. There's no way I'm letting you go back out there. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't have to tell you anything. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. I know killers. Seen my share. You ain't got the luck. That means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. My friend here asked you a question. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. This is Bree. She can help us. We don't need her. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I don't care about your life story, Molly. Nice going, asshole. Will we have time to look for my parents? We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementine, I know you don't want to give up on them. Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. They won't remember you at all. You know what, Kenny? Go fuck yourself. Screw that. 
I look like I need any preferential treatment? Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I'm gonna kill you. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! Wait, don't I get a vote? No. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat, he's out of his motherfucking mind! This is gonna suck. This is only a sin if you manage to take out the video and leave only the audio. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so.